Hey, hey, this is Mage. What's going on, everybody? Um, today I'm going to be bringing you the match 34 from our 17th season of the Free Fall Masters League. We are currently in our third round out of a projected eight rounds total, including the final. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with the Free Fall Masters League, I highly suggest you become more familiar with it by going to freefallmasters.net. That's F F A Masters.net. Um, as I've stated before, this is Mage. Uh, presumably you've seen some of my replay shoutcast before, but if not, welcome, thanks for joining, and today I am going to go ahead and get the stuff started. So without further ado, we're going to start in the top left corner where we have Dovuki. Um, not really sure how he wants his name pronounced, so I'm sure I'm going to say it wrong. That's kind of my tradition here. He is playing Undead. He's normally a Night Elf player, uh, one of the players that's more infamous because of his known... Uh, I don't want to call it necessity, but strategy of going for hippo riders. Certainly something that is more uncommon within the free-for-all scene, but he seems some pretty good success with it so far. Uh, moving on to the top right corner, we have Lef. He is a relatively new player. I believe he is Finnish, maybe? Um, a Night Elf player that takes after my own heart. I've seen lots of Chippo from him, so hard not to like that. Um, in our bottom right 6 o'clock position, we have Fail Life, or Life as he will be referred to throughout this game. He is pretty much a random player, although he picks his matchup based off of map and matches with other people. Um, as you can see, he is playing Night Elf this game. He is absolutely a solo player, and I suspect we'll see a lot of early aggression from him. Our last player here is Persuade. He is an FML admin, and probably the most well-known and highest uh, most achievements within Free For All. He has won several of the bot tournaments and has made the semifinals multiple times although never managed to get past it. So far he has not picked up a win this year um, which is somewhat uncommon because he's pretty well known for picking up wins early on and then blowing it later. Uh, so as we can see he's going Demon Hunter. Not an uncommon choice but not a common choice either. Um, if we go up to Dovaki, then he is picking up the Death Knight. Pretty solid, uh, pretty standard, could have predicted that one. Uh, we have another Demon Hunter here for Lef, so kind of interesting. You don't often see multiple Demon Hunters within the same game, we'll have to see how that goes. And it looks like Life is going to be going for a late altar and almost certainly a Dark Ranger based off of the previous games that I've seen from him. Um, so most likely... I would guess that we're going to see a Panda second for all of our Night Elf players, and then the third hero choice will be what will be really interesting. Um, so far, both Left and Persuade are off to quick starts creeping. Uh, we do have a nice Ancient of War creep going on in this expansion for life, so we should see some quick skeletons and a very easy creep camp here. Probably the first expo will go to life in this game. Um, Persuade does have his Ancient of War in position to go ahead and... Uh, Ancient of War creep with that as well, however he has not yet uprooted it, so he's going to be a bit behind. Um, Devoki will probably be our last player to grab his expansion due to the fact that Undead has a pretty hard time expanding compared to Night Elf at least. Um, Left it appears is not going to be using an Ancient of War to creep and will just tank that even Hunter. Not a bad hero choice to do it, but certainly not as effective. Uh, excuse me, certainly not as effective as Life's Dark Rangers will be. Uh, just based off of some early game predictions, I'm guessing Life will get the best here. It does look like Devoki and Persuade are going to be very nearby, so it'll be very interesting to see if he tries to gank this uh, Demon Hunter with that Death Knight nearby. It does not look like he's going to see him, or at least is going to ignore him for now. Um, we do have Life has his expansion going up, so very good... Uh, <coughs> early game so far for life. Looking around here, it does look like we've got the tech is going for both of our Night Elves so far. Devoki does not yet have his tech up. Oh, there we go. Pop the tech on him. He does have that extra acolyte, so he can expand. And Lef actually appears to be the furthest along in his tech. Uh, life is going to go ahead and keep creeping with that Dark Ranger. It's going to be very easy with all those skeletons. This is really the perfect map for a Dark Ranger because so many of these creeps are low hit point and very easy to take on. Persuade does manage to put his expansion up, so he will be the second one to go ahead and get an expansion down. Um, gonna go ahead and make sure he doesn't lose anything here and see what item he manages to grab off of this. But it does look like in the middle of our map we have left creeping one of the green 
uh, mines, so that's an interesting choice, and one of the uh, mines that is often overlooked early on, so he could gain a gold advantage if he manages to grab that, as well as his natural expansions to the sides. So a Talisman of Evasion for the uh, Persuades Demon Hunter, not going to do him a whole lot of good. And it does look like we're going to have Devaki go ahead and put his expansion up now. So very few fiends actually, only three fiends early on. You don't really need that many, but if he does plan to play a aggressive early game, then that could end up costing him later on. And in addition, he does not have many charges left on his Rod of Necr Necromancy. So there he goes, goes ahead and gets that off now. Uh, should take a little while for him to finish that off, go back to that in a minute. Uh, we do have, it looks like Left is going to go ahead and creep another gold mine here, but he does not yet have an expansion up, so he is going to be the last person to get to grab one, uh, unlike my prediction that it would be Tavuki. Um, just for those that are wondering, this is a replay shoutcast, as is probably pretty obvious by the replay bar here. However, I have not yet seen this match. I do know the outcome of it, however, I don't know how it occurs or what goes on within the match. So I'm going to try and shoutcast it, or I'm going to try and replay cast it like I would a shoutcast. We do see Left here has managed to pick up his Panda Second, uh, does have a Ring of Regeneration, which for Demon Hunter is a good choice. Life has managed to grab two more expansions while we weren't looking at him. Uh, does have a Parafit and a Giant Strength Belt, so very beefy Dark Ranger right now. I suspect he's going to go ahead and grab that uh, Panda soon. Looking over at Persuade, we got level 3 and level 1 Panda. He does have the Pendant of Energy on the Panda as well as the Talisman of Evasion, so really great items for that Panda. Um, over here, Dovaki is the only one not to hit level 3 yet, I believe. He does have that Pendant of Energy on the Death Knight though, so that should be pretty useful. And we're going to go ahead and get a little bit of an Ancient War creep pretty late here for left. He has put up his expansion over at the Natural to the left of his base. And that looks like it may be where Devoki is headed right now, so that'll be interesting to see. So just going around for a quick gold count and tech count. Life currently does have 300, 300, and is on the process of upgrading to a Tree of Eternity. Uh, Persuade has one expansion up, probably going to get another one soon, has not yet upgraded his tree, and at 300, 200. Uh, Black Citadel on the way for Devoki, he is at 200, 200 essentially. And no expansions up yet for left, but he does have two in the process of being built. Uh, halfway done to Tree of Attorney, so the quickest tech to tier 3 and 300-100 for him. Doesn't look like we have a whole lot of creeps left on the map. We're starting to see the hardest of the creeps here. Nice pickup on the Sobe Mask for the Panda. So Persuade's Panda is going to be a great shape for this game, just based off the early one at least. We do have a Flute of Accuracy for left, so also a really nice item for him to pick up. And Devoki is going to grab the last of these tough creeps, I believe, here. We'll see what item he manages to pick up here. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, there we go. We do have that Lich being trained. It will be out soon. He's going to be the last person to get his second hero because Life has uh, managed to get his panda. Also level 4 on the Dark Ranger, so nice that he can have both the level 2 skeletons and level 2 silence because that silence obviously is going to be very crucial once the fighting starts. Um, do have the last of the green camps over here, actually we got one more here and act ooh, we're going to have Life fighting Persuade here so it would be very interesting to see if he decides to go ahead and fight, and as he says, you can have it, but it's a little bit too late since it's already been detonated. Uh, we do get the Lich coming out here, and going to back off the Death Knight to gain all the experience on Lich, a very nice move. Um, from these mercenary creep camps, you can actually grab the uh, pig, I forget what it's called, the medicine man, I believe. Nice uh, Stormwind on the Lich here does gain level 2, so nicely done there. And we're going to have a quick fight from left here, but as I was saying real quick, you can gain the Medicine Man at those creep camps, one of the most underused mercenaries within the game, and really late game is super helpful due to the fact that you can get a healing ward, something normally only Orcish players can get. They probably don't like sharing it here, however, it's something that I think... Maybe Orc is the only one that can get away with not getting Night Elf. Certainly should grab one, um, just so you don't have to waste your Moon Wells. And it can't hurt if you are undead or human as well. Um, I personally just leave it in the base. I don't try to bring it to the fight, since I don't have the micro to prevent my Chimeras from killing it. It does look like we have one more creep camp over here that I didn't get to see earlier. Uh, so might try and sap most of this with the Lich. I don't believe it's enough to get level 3 on the Lich. However, it should get him relatively close at least. 
and Panda hits level 3 for Persuade as well with 420 mana, that's going to be very deadly. Um, Life actually going ahead and getting his 4th and 5th expansions going currently, so Life has 2000 gold, is capped at 80 right now, um, but in very good shape at this point. Uh, Left currently 1-0 upgrades, that's what I was trying to check on Life but couldn't find any units for. Uh, he is at 400 and 180 wood, he's currently putting Wisps in his 2nd expansion, so he's going to be pretty well down uh, compared to the other players. does pick up a Keeper of the Grove as his third hero. Persuade does not yet have a third hero, would not be surprised to see him go in Alchemist. It has a lot of synergy when you consider the other two heroes within the combination. However, he would sacrifice the ability to stun at units. Life going ahead and killing off some of his own food here. Uh, just a really good idea when you're trying to hoard up early on and you're not going to be using those archers late game. Uh, if you look over here, Devoki does pick up the Dreadlord for his third hero, smart choice, sleep is effective, um, although with Dryads galore, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Persuade does look like he's ready to go ahead and engage, I do believe he is at, uh, nope, he's actually still at 50 food, I thought he might be breaking up to 80, but he has not yet. Should be able to pick off a few Crypt Fiends here, and really gonna be a very interesting battle if the undead player Devoki tries to fight Persuade due to the fact that he does have that level 3 Demon Hunter and minus 100 mana every time he burns it is not going to be fun to play against. So life at this point looks like he's in very good shape, up to 3300 gold, uh, running off of 5 expansions plus his main, so he's currently mining 6 mines at the moment. Going to be very interesting to see how this goes. Um, he could be caught with his pants down very easily though, but it does not look like anybody is currently scouting him, although actually Devoki, as I'm speaking, goes ahead and does that. Persuade can go ahead and try and get off at least a few unit kills here. Does manage to staff that out of the way. I'm just going to kite a few things. Devoki going to come in here, try and take away a few units as well. Left going to go ahead and TP out while Persuade runs away. Uh, so we do have a Keeper of the Grove third for life as well. Persuade, the only one without a third hero at the moment. Possible he's just going to try and not get a third hero. Sneaky little expansion going up here where Devoki is as well. I believe Persuade can go over and cancel it. It does look like he is, in fact, going to do that. And that could lead to war between Devoki and Persuade. Be very interested to see where this goes from here since Devoki currently has two expos, as does Persuade, as does Lef, and... You know, just a few more for life at this point, considering that he totals the amount all the others have combined. Um, quick gold count at this point. Persuade very low on wood, with only 5 wood, 400 gold, so not in great position. Devoki has 700 gold, 500 wood. Lef has 2,500 gold, but only 90 wood, so he's doing a nice job of hoarding up. And life with 6,000 gold and just going uh, very quickly to 10k soon. Um, it does look like Persuade is going to go for a pure elf ground army at this point. does pick up Keep of the Grove third, by the way. Does not get the Alchemist much to my disappointment, but when you're facing Undead, you really do want something to entangle the op opposing heroes. Um, so at this point, it looks like Persuade is pretty much committing to the ground army. Life appears to be committing to ground army as well. However, I believe we... Actually, it does look like Left is going ground army as well. I certainly don't see any Chimera Roost going up yet. So normally you see Chippo or Chimeras and Hippos for your um, elf players, but very interesting to see that neither one of them is going for it at this point. Persuade going for some free experience among the Alkalites and Towers here. Be interesting to see if he tries to keep you back and save it. In terms of who's going to kill what faster, up oh, here we go. So Devoki has called this bluff, going to go ahead and TP in here. Could get a very good position. Uh, does not TP near that Death Knight, uh, the Demon Hunter, sorry about that. So interesting to see how this goes. Sleep on it. We're going to see an abolish momentarily to get the sleep off the Demon Hunter, I presume. Although perhaps not. Nope, just going to wait it out. So interesting that Persuade didn't do that. Uh, so 3-2-1 for Devoki. Persuade can go ahead and move on to the next one, but they are all towered up. He has 3-3-1 three, three, at the moment. Weak Dryad there. Would not be surprised to see that go down soon. Left at 3-2-1 and Life at 4-2-1, I believe. Yep, he is indeed. So very even hero level so far. Really, the advantage goes to Life at this point due to his massive gold advantage over everybody else. I mean, at this point, he has more gold than everyone combined. He's got 10,000. Really, really low on wood, though. Going to be going to 80 food at this point, but wood's going to be a problem. If he gets attacked now, could be trouble. Persuade at 600 gold, 200 wood, so he's in okay shape, but not great. Devil Key going to 80 as well. He's at 400, 400. However, he is massing towers, so his base is going to be a little bit harder to take down, especially if the elf players decide not to go for... Um, 
Chimera is their primary primary source of taking down towers. He is going to start pumping gargoyles at this point. It'll be interesting to see how well that works against uh, Persuades, Dryads, and Panda. You need a lot of... Uh, uh, we do have an entangle on this Druid Claw. It is not going to go down very quickly. However, it will go down momentarily. So left going to go ahead and try and fight Life. Now Life is making an army, but it is mostly back at his base. So he's probably going to have to TP out relatively soon. Uh, does have a single staff on the... Ooh, was that a misclick there? Or what was going on? Does not look like he intended to pull that off. Does save the Keep of the Grove. Nice save on his part should manage to go ahead and just rejuve that Keeper of the Grove, so. That'll be an interesting fight to see. It will be a mirror matchup with virtually identical heroes except for a Demon Hunter in place of the uh, Dark Ranger and a massive gold differential, so. I expect we'll see Life winning that battle, however weirder things have happened, um, and it's possible he'll be teamed down soon. This looks like a very bad position for Persuade. How are the Gargoyles going to do against this Dryad army? does not look like they're off to a good start. Uh, Sleep does go off on that panda, quickly abolished though. So the panda, if it can get one good strike in here, is a game changer. There is only one one armor here. Entangle on the alkalite, just a little extra free experience. Let's see if Persuade does manage to get this off. Does get a pretty bad, actually, uh, breath of fire off there. Is going to take down a single gargoyle. So at this point, Doveki trying to kite him, I guess, but he's not doing a very good job of this at all. Um, Usually you want to see some nukes going off from the undead as they're running away. Instead he's just sleeping it and uh, does have men on the lich, but I'm not sure why he's not trying to at least nuke the Keeper of the Grove a little bit. Probably a little bit more worried about getting his heroes back at this point. This could be very interesting though. Uh, down on the other side of the map we do have a full fight going on between life and uh, left. It does look like life panda is going to be pretty low here. Not sure what's going to go on and does get burned down so no more on that does look like life has this pretty well in hand though back in the base over here we've got persuade is just trying to take down some of these gargoyles down goes a single dryad as persuade pulls back out and tp away for left here i presume that life was overmatched for him um both are the greater gold uh sources on the map so far so interesting to see how that will work out and if left can out micro life in order to take advantage of it chimera roosts are going up for left at this point however life is pushing him does have one chimera roost up 12k gold and gonna take down this expansion momentarily uh, interestingly enough he does appear to still have the uh, black arrow on the dark ranger kind of an interesting choice since I don't believe there are a whole lot of units that are gonna be affected by that persuade has mixed in a good number of hippogriffs to his army here so Nice job on his part of being able to counter this Garg army. Um, when you combine the Hippogriffs and Dryads, I suspect that Doveki is not going to be any match for Persuade unless he manages to significantly outmicro him, which knowing Persuade I think is a pretty slim chance since Persuade has some solo background and is probably one of our better uh, micro players within FML, at least at large armies at 80 and 100 food. Um, does look like Persuade is going to try and fight in Devoki's base. That'll be interesting to see how that goes for him. As a Night Elf player, I never particularly like fighting in an undead base unless I have free chance to try and siege them. Life's uh, panda here looking pretty low. Does manage to get that scroll off, and this is pretty much just going to be a typical solo fight, it looks like. Uh, a lot of hero focusing going on for Lef. He is, actually does not lose that bear, does get out of the way thanks to staffing. Uh, life is going to have a dryad go down here momentarily. It looks like his uh, panda is still very low, bringing it back into the fight. When you look around, there is only one staff for life, while left has two, I believe. Yep. So left does have a bit of an advantage here. I'd like to see uh, all of our Night of players try and go at least two staffs and hopefully three, since you really can save so many units, especially in something like a bear fight where they're so easy to staff out of the way and save them. Life is going to lose at least one bear here, but left does as well. Uh, Life probably going to lose this second bear as well. We'll see if that goes down. It does indeed. So pretty much an even match on that one. Uh, TP out of here for Devoki. It does look like Persuade lost some Dryads in the process. He is up to 6k gold, sitting firmly at 80, and keeping up that mix of Dryads and Hippogriffs. We do have life at 14,000 gold, so not gaining as quickly as he was for a little while. Kind of surprised about that. Does have his wood count safely back up to uh, just about 1,000, though. Uh, 
if we look at Lef, Lef is at 3,000 gold and 1,000 wood, so his advantage quickly going down. Uh, he was doing well there for a while, but apparently is no longer maintaining it, probably because he's had some of his expos killed, if I had to guess. Uh, he does have 2-2 armor on his unit. It looks like 3-3 for life. We've got 2-1 for Devil Key, so that could be a major problem, especially to Hippogriff's. Uh, the armor is such a crucial part of it. And 3-2 for Persuade. Persuade going to go right into the middle of Devil Key's army here. Not sure he's prepared for this. Let's see if he can manage to get this panda off. Does look like the panda is going to be sleeped here. How quickly will get off? Breath of Fire goes off. So Devil Key in much better position in this fight, in my opinion. Uh, Hippogriffs are forced to retreat here. Persuade does appear to be kiting a little bit. Not sure how successfully it's going to be overall. Spec we're going to see a TP out by Persuade momentarily. Keep the Grove going down. Keep the Grove does get staffed out of the way here. Panda doing massive amounts of damage though. There we go. Stone form to manage to get the effects of that off. Frostworm could go down though. Looking pretty low. Uh, nice job by Devoki just keeping the Gargs out of it. He's currently managed to kill off all the Hippogriffs. You really don't have much advantage until you can get them back in. And down goes that Dreadlord, but in return, a Dryad goes down. Devoki going to be the one to go ahead and TP out of here. Not entirely sure about that idea. However, Persuade doing massive amounts of damage with just these two heroes, showing the power of Panda and Demon Hunter. So this is really why undead players fear Night Elf early on in these types of fights. If you can uh, get it to late game when the undead nuke is so strong, then it becomes a different thing. But Panda just ridiculously powerful at level 3 and becomes completely out of control at level 5 for unarmored, or not unarmored, but low upgraded uh, whatchamacallit, uh, gargoyles. So life is going to go ahead and just sacrifice this expansion, so I don't really want it that badly anyway. And Lef is going to try and continue to push his luck here. Persuade going to be forced to TP and try and save this expansion. We'll see if he does. It is going to be going down momentarily. Actually just going to walk himself over here. Does have that Keeper of the Grove back at level 2. Not sure he's going to have it be able to save it in time though. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and get some... Up. Oh does manage to get it out of the way and Lich is going to be forced to get out of here. Down goes that statue and the expansion lives. So kind of a poor move by Devil Key here not killing off the expansion. It only had 100 health left. Would have taken another half second and wasted 350 gold. Uh, Surprise Persuade did not try and heal it but apparently he felt that Devil Key was going to get it no matter what and just his good fortune that he didn't. So big fight coming in here between Lef and Life. We'll see how Life manages to take this one. He has a lot more Dryads and Bears compared to Lef. Uh, I actually take that back. He just has a lot more Dryads. The Bears are at even. Life continues to have to try and get this Panda out of the way here. There goes the Roar for Life. Do not have a Roar yet for Lef. That Panda is very low. There we go. Pops off that potion. And we're just losing lots of Dryads on Lef's side. So while Lef continues to try and focus down heroes, Life continues to focus down uh, units for the most part, although he did manage to make that panda staff out of the way. So pretty even fight so far. Wish I could see the unit count at this point. And the Keeper of the Grove looking very low there. Keeper of the Grove goes down. So Left does lose a hero here and loses another Dryad at the end. Autogy comment commenting that's a bit of a boring fight and do have to agree, Elf herself is not my favorite. That's why I just go Chippo. Uh, at least that's over quickly. Uh, very easy to save units when you use a bear. And boom, big hit by the panda there. So that's not what you want when you are the undead player. You try and sleep that uh, panda and get it out of the way. Sure that Devil Key knows this, however, it is harder to do than I'm making it sound like. Life going to go ahead and push on Left's expansion there. So Devil Key at 80, Persuade at 80, Life is at going to 100, so at 15,000, and 67 for Left. Left looking like he may be the first one out of this game. We'll see how that goes for him, but if he's hit unexpected by Life having 100 and can't manage to get himself into position to defend it, could be a very bad uh, situation for Left here, especially since he's still reviving his Keep of the Grove. Persuade has rebuilt this army of Hippogriffs and Dryads. Be interesting to see how uh, Devoki deals with it this time. Last time he did get the upper hand early on, however, the Panda and Demon Hunter combination proved to be too much for him and he was forced to TP out. Down on the other side, it does look like Left is going to go ahead and try and challenge this fight. I'll try and do alternate between them. Going back here first, because this is going to be a bigger fight. Uh, nice job keeping the burn on the Panda, not allowing it to use its special. Uh, Left is going to have to get rid of his and Life going to go ahead and TP away. Persuade going to move on to hitting some expansions, trying to take away any gold that 
uh, Devaki is getting currently and just drain him that way. Smart choice, especially when you don't have any siege to combat it. There goes the sweep on Panda. Let's see if he tries and surround it. He does not. Gonna go ahead and just fight these Hippogriffs, so good job doing Nova there. In comes the uh, terrible, terrible Breath of Fire by him. Down goes that Frostworm, it looks like, although not going down yet, and nice scroll on Devoki's part. So, hard to tell who's winning this fight. Does look like we're gonna get TP out here by Devoki, and as you can see, when the Fat Lady Sung did turn out that Persuade was ahead in that fight. A little hard to tell early on, however, I do feel like during that TP there was about uh, a good 10 to 12 food swing going in Persuade's favor from guards dying. Uh, we do see that 22, at least 22 food, probably more, was lost um, for Devoki, so it didn't seem like it was went that badly, but it apparently did. Persuade up to 10,000 gold at this point. Uh, doing pretty well for himself, especially since he does not lose many units during these fights. And if you don't lose many units, then it's very easy to gain a gold advantage. A little bit obvious, but what can you do? So here we go. Mountain Giant comes in here for left. Interesting to see how that will go for him since the previous fights have not gone very well. It does look like he's going to go ahead and lose a bear here. We do see that hero levels are just going up for life. Life is not that far away from level 6. Is losing some dryads pretty badly right now, but maintaining the overall advantage in this fight so far. Left Demon Hunter is still level 4. When that hit level 5, it could be a lot more interesting. Life Panda does have both a scroll of healing, or a potion of healing, and a potion of vulnerability. Demon Hunter looking very low for left here. Will we see a focus on it? Nope, gonna go ahead and TP out. Does lose the Mountain Giant. Pretty costly mistake here. I'm not sure why he couldn't uh, manage to do that. So, or couldn't manage to staff it, sorry. I realize not everybody can read my head, but it takes some time for me to process. So, in comes the panda to go ahead and do some damage to these buildings. Gonna try and take out at least one tower, possibly more. Devoki forcing the fight here, does have that roar on the hippogriffs. Hippogriffs are going to dominate the gargoyles at this point, it's just not even close. Devoki is gonna be in very perilous position here, could go ahead and get himself knocked out. We will see if Devoki says GG or continues to fight. Persuade may try to go ahead and tome him. We'll see how this plays out. Life saying that he needs some help at this point. I agree, he completely does. Panda gonna hit level 5 before all is said and done here. Keeper of the Grove has hit level 3 already and not that close to level 6 on the Demon Hunter yet. So, Devoki being forced to just back into the back of his base at this point. Going down here, we do have a fight between Left and uh, Life. Left is going to go ahead and have to TP away with this panda, but he does lose the Demon Hunter. Costly mistake on his point. Life at this point is very close to being able to end Left. Uh, would not be surprised to see him go 100 to finish him off, although he may be able to do without it. Uh, left is down to 1.5 gold versus 15 plus for Life. Very low HP, uh, Dryad here, let's see if he can manage to save it. Persuade often plays like a noob and loses units like that. I myself would never do that because I'm really much better than Persuade. So, uh, Devoki does continue to pump out these gargoyles. Let's see if he can manage to amass enough to take him on early. Dreadlord is about 20 seconds away from coming back here. Persuade continues to just try and take down a lot of these towers that can actually attack him back. Costly, uh... Sorry about that. Costly mana burn on the Demon Hunter. Big Breath of Fire and Haze combo on the Gargoyles. Out comes the Dreadlord. So this could actually be a pretty good fight for Devoki. Might be able to force him out. Nice sleep on the Panda. Gargoyles are looking somewhat decent at this point. Uh, does have the Lich focusing, helping the focus on Hippogriffs. They are slowed down by the Frostworms as well. Would not be super surprised to see Persuade Force to TP out here. Although uh, Dreadlord is going to go down, so keep of the grove tps out but dreadlord down for devoki devoki down to 2000 gold and 60 food this is not going to be good news for him while he did win that fight he is not going to win this war i do not believe especially once we've got level 5 level 5 on the demon hunter panda and we've got 15000 for persuade at this point 16000 uh, for life though speaking of having lots of gold interesting persuade has taken the second middle expo by the way and it looks like left is at 80 and 500 going to go ahead and just uh, try and take him on I think I mean he doesn't have a whole lot of options at this point is putting up another expansion does have 3000 gold left in that one however he really needs a big game changing moment to go in his favor um, probably going to try and harass some of the expansions 
uh, it does look like Persuade getting ready to go ahead and attack Devoki and take down what he can. Devoki getting pretty low, uh, close to being food locked here is rebuilding some ziggurats however should Persuade hit the expansions here would not be surprised to see him get put into a really bad position. Uh, Persuade continuing to just mass out some dryads laying off the hippogriffs a little bit it looks like uh, and just going to go for a purely ground army possibly. I do believe that Lef is, yep, he's at 78, so not enough to go to 80 still, while Life is going to go to 80, so an interesting decision about whether, or, sorry, 100. Interesting decision on whether or not you should go 100. Uh, the positive is it pretty much locks in your win over the other person if you can just completely outgold them like this. However, you don't necessarily want to kill off your opponent this early on. Um, should Life kill Left first, it's entirely possible he's going to get himself teamed down. Does discover that Left is there and should have a pretty big fight coming in. Let's see the silence on the panda. Uh, no silence, actually. So, going to go ahead and just focus down some of these dryads really quick. And yet again, we have another fight going on at the same time. So, I'm going to go ahead and focus on this one really quick. We'll take a peek over on the other side. Does not look like it's an actual fight. Just killing some buildings here. So, life in a huge, huge advantage at this point. Is losing a few dryads, but that's not really a big deal. Uh, left Demon Hunter getting very low, as is his panda. Sleep, or er, entangle on that bear. We do have Devoki coming in to fight with Persuade from the opposite side. Looks like that's going to be hit and run. So, I'm going to continue on this fight for a little while. Uh, Demon Hunter getting very low, does have that uh, scroll of teleportation though, or yep, there we go, so TP out here, level 6 on uh, Life's Dark Ranger, level 4 on the Brewmaster, and there goes the Abolish, so Life pretty much just going to go ahead and finish him off at this point, I think, not much of a chance, let's see if we can see a surround on this Demon Hunter, we cannot, however, Entangle should be back up momentarily, it could be a little too risky though, going to lead with the Pandarian Brewmaster, good job on that. Uh, should he encounter Devoki, he's going to get off a big Haze Breath of Fire combination. Does involve a Mountain Giant at this point, and up oh, here we go. Mountain Giant gets off and could lose at least one, and oh, we've got the Lich separated from the army. This could be very bad for Devoki. Is going to TP out of here, not even going to bother to try and fight this one. It's a losing battle, but down goes that Lich, and nope, oh, Lich is actually saved. So got a little bit ahead of myself here, and does look like Devoki is going to be able to at least try and uh, defend this push. Uh, does not have much in the way of towers within his base though anymore, so not going to be super successful I would guess. And down goes the Keeper of the Grove for left. Left has hit level 5 on his Demon Hunter, so is going to be able to do some pretty good damage to this Panda. Does get the potion off on the Panda, I don't think he's in any danger of losing it, does have the potion of vulnerability. Pops that off, so left at this point just pretty much left for dead. Down goes left there. So on the other side of the map here, we do have uh, Devoki is pretty much ready to get knocked out of this game, although he is doing a nice job of pushing back Persuade's last uh, attempt here. Not sure how much longer he can su survive while being outgolded this badly. Um, be interesting to see what the deal with Life and Persuade will be. Um, Persuade, a pretty experienced free-for-all player, would not be surprised to see him try and... Uh, at least scout out and see what life is doing. Um, does send some wisps out here to either grab an expansion or scout what's going on. So clearly the two dominant players right now, Persuade and Life. Devoki is the wild card here and could make it for either player and has an outside shot of actually winning this game. I mean, that is the beauty of free for all is that anybody can win at any time. Um, you can be pretty much completely knocked out early on and still available uh, late in the game with some hidden units to take it out uh, to pull out the win here. So he is going to continue to attack Persuade. Does not look like we're going to have a uh, ceasefire going on. So I suspect we'll see Persuade TPing in momentarily to try and save this expansion at this point in the game. He really does need to keep it, uh, but I could be wrong. It looks like I am going to be wrong. I'm going to let this one go by and apparently push on to the rest of his base. Does manage to detonate these wisps. No experience gained for the Dreadlord, which was very close to level 3. However, he... Ooh, not going to gain it from that one either. So he is only two experience away, partially because he had the other heroes there. And Devoki saying that the only reason he can beat Persuade in fights currently is because he has so many mines. Uh, that's not quite true at this point. However, he ha does have quite a few wisps, and that could be part of the reason. He is going for a very heavy Chimera army now, though. Going to go ahead and just pull up full stop on Chippo and go to 100 food to try and take out Devoki. 
Uh, let's see what Life is gonna say about this. Does not look like Life has a whole lot to say on the matter. He's just gonna quietly gain gold up to 20,000 gold at this point. So if Persuade and Devokey continue to fight this out, it'd be very interesting to see if they manage to uh, continue, or sorry, it will be very interesting to see if they continue to fight and if they suicide each other out of the game, handing life the free win, or if they learn to scout at some point and not worry about it. Persuade clearly has said that Devaki has most of the uh, mind with, on the map and does not look like Devaki is willing to talk with Persuade. Um, I'm not sure if Devaki knows about it or not. Uh, it does look like he's going to grab another expansion here. Um, and we could see a very big fight coming in here and does get a breath of fire off on these guards. They still only have level 2 upgrade on the armor. Um, not something that's a great thing to be doing right now. You really want to have 3 3 upgrades at all times if uh, once you have the available gold for it. However, I think he can be forgiven because he's trying to pump units at this point. Sleep goes off on the Demon Hunter. Interesting choice there. Uh, I suspect we're going to see a Keeper of the Grove entangle followed by a massive volley of Chimeras soon. Um, going to go ahead and take these crypts down, take away the only AA that. Uh, or sorry, anti-air that Devaki is capable of producing, and life actually going to go ahead and attack Persuade, it looks like at this point. Interesting to see what will go on in this fight. Uh, we do have a nice usage of the Mountain Giant to go ahead and make the guards focus it down, and terrible fight for Devaki at this point. He is just getting completely mauled. However, Persuade is going to be forced to TP into his own base, I believe. Uh, does not look like he's going to go yet. However, he cannot wait too much longer. Uh, Lich and Dreadlord both very low, and Dreadlord is going to go down here, I believe as well as that Frostworm, nope, Frostworm gets out of here, so going to try and take down the main of Devoki, not going to have time to do it. Persuade going to come in here and see if he can fight. He is facing a lot of magic immune units. Um, it'll be very interesting to see how he deals with that. Is going to use these Hippogriffs on the Chimera and then probably pull them out. Chim uh, does get the, excuse me, does get a Mana Burn off on the Dark Ranger, hits level 6 on the Demon Hunter. So Demon Hunter should be able to do a lot of damage to these Dryads due to the chaos damage that it can do. Um, surprised we haven't seen the ultimate go off yet, however, it's a little late now due to the TP out. Persuade does lose that bear at the end, so we've got 80 food for Persuade, 74 for uh, life, and a mere 500 for Devoki. Devoki is at 50 though. If he gets ignored, he will be able to mine up a little bit of gold. However, Persuade does have an expansion going to the one mine running for um, Devoki at this point. I will not be shocked if we see that go down momentarily, and Devoki is going to go ahead and take down some of the extra wisps that uh, left left behind. So, might be able to gain... Nope, just gonna leave them interestingly enough so he is able to gain experience up to level 5 with those so surprised did not try and get level 5 death knight there and does look like we're having a little bit of chat going on if you read it uh, on the screen devil key clearly is either pissed off at persuade or does believe that persuade is the bigger threat here because he's willing to help life take down persuade um, persuade realizes this and most likely is going to try and just uh, completely take devil key out of the game you never want to have somebody intent on taking you down left in the game if you can help it um, and it shouldn't be very hard for him to take him out depending on the lengths that devil key is willing to go to uh, persuade does have a lot of hippogriffs so he should be able to chase down most of this air due to the fact that Hippogriffs are so quick, and actually going to go ahead and entangle this uh, Death Knight. Death Knight looking very bad shape here, does have plenty of Dryads to kite it, uh, does have the Keep of the Grove there, and down goes the Death Knight, so boom, Devaki out of the game. Uh, looking at it, I believe he left right before it, so the Demon Hunter did not gain experience off of it, and now we just have our 1v1 left. So we've got Persuade with 13,000 gold, and Life with 25,000 gold. Two Night Elf players, two different strategies. We got 665 for Persuade. We got 655 for Life. Um, the only difference would be the Charm versus Metamorphosis. Uh, gotta like the Demon Hunter and the fight in this terms. Uh, Persuade does have a quite a uh, lot of hippogriffs running him out on the map, which, unless Life has a change of heart and goes for massive amounts of chimeras really not going to do him any good except for scouting in fact it does look like he's going to try and run them into any towers that life might have 
Um, don't see any towers though, so this may just be free experience for Bife at this point. Um, Persuade probably going to stay away from Chimeras as well due to the fact that Life does have charm, so that's just going to be a waste there. Let's see, nice TP out by Persuade, doesn't want to fight that, and just scouting for Hidden Army is going to go ahead and kill himself off of the Hippogriff. Smart choice on this part. Um, Lots of mountain giants incoming for a Persuade. Not a unit you see used a whole lot, but they are super helpful within Mirror here. And Persuade could be taken on a little bit off guard here. He does not have his army put together very well, and clearly does not have all the upgrades in the mountain giants either. Let's see how this goes for him. Uh, should be able to, to staff these mountain giants out of the way pretty easily though, and is starting to get the ad advantageous use out of them. Uh, does go ahead and mana burn the... Pandarian Brewmaster Panda does have a scroll of town portal on it and is going to get managed to get it away there and bad fight for life here uh, Good fight for persuade Persuade managed to lose actually didn't lose a unit in that fight I don't think and life lost a few although certainly not the end of the world for him is going to incorporate mountain giants into it And now killing off his chimera since it's not doing him any good at this point uh, Persuade actually it looks like does have one chimera going around the map due to the fact that there are no hippogriffs for life at this point is just going to expand, uh, sorry, is just going to harass the expansions at this point, probably a good idea. Uh, life does continue to have one, two, three, four, five different mines in various states of being mined at this point, and Persuade has his only expansion going up currently. Uh, does have a few trees of life wandering on the map, and there are plenty of extra mine still on the map. Persuade actually building a expansion for a mere thousand gold. Interesting choice on that one, um, but life clearly at a big advantage in terms of gold, macro, and economy at this point. Both players do have 3-3 upgrades. So here comes our next big fight. Looks like it's pretty much just going to be massive amounts of Dryad Wars. Silence goes off on the Demon Hunter. Silence should be worn off soon, and I suspect we'll see level 6 Demon Hunter use its ultimate ability soon. However, there's no guarantee of that. Outcome Persuades Panda going to go ahead and just use its ultimate since the uh, Breath of Fire really not doing any good. Uh, life does not have level 6 yet and is just getting burned to hell and back. Um, interesting that he is not using the ultimate on Demon Hunter yet though. I wonder if he specced level 3 deviation at the time. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but certainly a possibility for why he's not using it. Persuade at 81 food at this point. Life at 98, uh, pretty much outgolding Persuade 2 to 1. However, he is losing these fights due to the different heroes. And Life has a very low panda here without a scroll of teleportation on it. But a very interesting. Here we go. Ultimate for uh, Persuade bringing the fight to Life. This could be very interesting. Massive amounts of dryads and mountain giants. Pretty typical Night Elf mirror at this point. Uh, no bears that I can see, probably because of charm. Persuade does look to have gotten his level 6 up, uh, er, sorry, Persuade does look like he has gotten, ooh, Panda does get staffed out of there very momentarily. Persuade does have, uh, his extra thick skin on the Mountain Giant, so they're not being charmed out of the way. Does look like he has one low here, uh, maybe he doesn't have it yet since it's being entangled. Um, Life is losing a lot of units here, though, he is down to 97 food, but... Uh, still just pumping a lot of units such as Mountain Giants. Here is looking pretty low and could see a TP out of this Keeper of the Grove. Looking pretty low, just running here, and uh, I suspect we're going to see this Panda go down momentarily. Panda is looking very low. Will it get out of here? Panda does get away. Really nice job by Life. Some luck going on here, uh, but Persuade is going to go ahead and chase it down. It looks like two heroes that are very low for Life. However, Metamorphosis is over, and Demon Hunter is going to have to TP out of the way. Will Keeper of the Grove be able to get an entangle on that might hurt? Nope, does not manage to do that. So we've got 99 and 23,000 for Life. Persuade down to 80 and 10,000. Persuade is finally mining, I believe. Uh, nope, he is entangling at this point. Does have three expansions up that are not mining at the moment. Uh, Life has two expansions that are mining. So despite the fact that I don't see Life winning these fights, I do think he is in the better position right now. Um, you always want to be able to outgold somebody like this, and he's not losing fights so badly that I think he's going to blow through all this extra gold. Um... I'm kind of curious to the fact that he only has one Chimera race though with all this extra gold and wood. I would not be shocked to ordinarily see it up. Oh, here we go. We do have more Chimera race over here. So that is good. And I would not be shocked to see this come into some type of uh, base race. If you notice, there is the Tree of Eternity here, but there are zero extra Trees of Life floating around it. Um, 
The same thing goes for life. He does not have a very good base at this point. Uh, very easy to pick off moon walls. Could see a food block at some point. Um, however, taking down a opponent's natural with Chim is very easy. Uh, Chimera is obviously doing massive amounts of damage. And a very effective strategy is just to go ahead and take out the base and the production units. And then once you get one good fight, I mean, the other opponent can't reproduce. So would not be at all surprised to see either one of our players try and go for that strategy. does look like Persuade is going to go ahead and actually he's going up to 100, so despite the fact that he has finally begun to mine a little bit, he is going to keep himself at 100, losing extra gold, however trying to gain the advantage of fights. He's going to tower one of Life's Expos, I'm not sure if Life notices it, I do not believe he does. Life is going to go ahead and try to take down Persuade's Expo. Life is at 95 food, so very even fight once this finally comes. Persuade probably going to lose this expansion as well. Not sure if he really cares. Um, probably not worth the actual fight, and very uh, easy to take down these moon balls. When you are a Night Elf player, you want to try and keep your moon balls out of the easy Breath of Fire range, because as you notice here, just massive amounts of damage being done to the moon wells by the Pandarian Brewmaster. In comes the TP for life. Very good TP. So, nice job leading with these mountain giants. We'll see if he can expand out and how that keeps up. Persuade does go ahead and pop his Pandarian Brewmaster's ultimate. Silence has not yet gone off on the Demon Hunter. Should see the level 6 Demon Hunter, or level 7 at this point, use its ultimate soon. And we do have Life's uh, Dark Ranger looking pretty trapped in here. Would not be shocked to see it go down. Um, it does have the potions, uh, or a potion of healing left, however it does not have a TP. Uh, will it go down? Do does go down, so there you go. Dark Ranger goes down, Keeper of the Grove does have the pot on it. Um, don't see the panda currently. Ooh, there we go, nice and tangled by life on the Keeper of the Grove from Persuade. Persuade was trying to use the ultimate there, however, did not manage to get it off, and is should bring in that Keeper of the Grove to try and untangle this Pandarian Brewmaster. Panda just bought a scroll of TP and potion of healing little late now I suppose. However, life continues to remain in pretty bad shape in this fight. Uh, is going to go ahead and use that scroll of teleportation and will save this mountain giant from dying, although it is very close to dying. Persuade's panda is back in its normal form. Let's see if there we go. Breath of Fire going to lose multiple mountain giants here. This is not good for life at all. Three mountain giants go down instantaneously. Persuade could lose one in the uh, backlash over here, so Persuade does lose another mountain giant as well. Fail life. Panda looking very low. Will it get taken down? Does pass off the Potion Vulnerability, nice job by per, uh, Life to keep that panda alive, and now it uses its ultimate. If you look over here, though, the Tree of Eternity is down. Uh, so down goes that Tree of Eternity for Life. This could be very problematic for him, especially because his production units are looking very low at this point. And that Keeper of the Grove is also going to go down momentarily, I believe. Uh, Persuade's heroes maintain a very healthy uh, level right now. Does manage to staff that panda out after it uses the uh, Potion Vulnerability. And I believe we have, yep, all three of the elementals are left for uh, life here. However, he is going to be down to one now, so does, ooh, gets away on the storm elemental there. Does have the earth elemental back, and that's going to be the one that comes back momentarily. So earth elemental transform into regular panda. Panda is going to look be very, very uh, low, and down goes that panda. Alter is going to be pretty low. Should be the next target. We'll see if it goes down. Um, may just let the uh, sorry Dark Ranger come back. Interesting to see what he does here. And we did see that demon hunter staffed out, by the way, in case you missed it. Uh, but nice job keeping those roosts onto the other part of the field. I suspect we're going to see this Keep of the Grove TP out now. Uh, Persuade did a ton of damage here. And uh, there we go. TP's out. So Panda may go ahead and kill the altar off with one last breath on the way out. Does not actually do that. So, nice job uh, getting to the tavern and reviving heroes, but as I mentioned earlier, life space in very bad shape here. Does not have a whole lot of moon wells, they're pretty scattered around, um, has one lore left, and is gonna, or two lores actually, and may be forced to switch over to a Chippo army. Persuade now taking advantage on the map, pulling off some map dominance at this point, and gaining the exp uh, expansion advantage for the first time within this game. So, clearly that was a pretty game-changing fight there. We'll see if Life is able to rebound. However, we do have Persuade at 5,000 gold, and Life is now at 13,000, so that gold gap is slowly, slowly shrinking. However, the main important thing here is that Persuade's heroes are in such a better place than 
uh, life's are, um, life does have six all the way around, however, life heroes are much better fighting other people's armies, um, than persuades, uh, persuades heroes are much more effective against other heroes, so, if this comes down to hero arena, um, I think that persuade is going to be the one in the best shape at this point. Interesting choice bringing in dots here, not really sure why he's doing that. Uh, fairy fire is going to be taken off instantaneously by the dryads. Tons of abolish going on here. I like the decision to incorporate some chimeras, and this is actually a pretty good place for life to be fighting due to the fact that you can move the chimeras back over the trees when they are starting to get low. Uh, Persuade not looking so hot in this fight, especially after that dominating performance last time. We do see the Dark Ranger is looking very low, staffed out by life. Nice job on that one. Persuade's heroes are looking low, though. I would not be surprised to see him forced to back out of here. Yep, there we go. Is going to TP out of here with his Keeper of the Grove and does manage to save the panda as well. Life turning this around, so Life does still have that gold advantage. He can rebuild some units, or some uh, buildings at this point. Does have three boars now, uh, in addition to having four uh, uh, Chimera Roosts and some Ancient of Winds. So, Life should be able to continue to put pressure on here, um, as long as he maintains his gold advantage and takes down the expansions that Persuade is putting up. I think he should be okay. Uh, Panda is excellent at building killing, even if it's not doing a whole lot in the fight against Persuade at this point. So, let's see if Life can maintain this pressure, and if he can, then I suspect we'll see him be pretty successful at knocking Persuade out of here. However, as we saw earlier, all it takes is one big fight to turn the table, so should Persuade manage to land a great fight against Life, then I could see him managing to counter the massive gold differential at this point. Interestingly enough, it does not look, or we do have a 100 food army for Persuade and a 100 food army for Life. Life has a lot more gold, though, than Persuade. Um, if Persuade loses this fight, I think that he is essentially going to be out of the game um, because that will allow life to continue to kill off all of the expansions Persuade is putting up. Um, should Persuade win this fight, though, then he could probably take out the base here, and that happens. I think it's a good game. We are going to see our big fight coming in here, so leading with the Chimera is not a good decision. They're going to be very easily taken down by the Dryads. Really terrible positioning by life at this point. Uh, Persuade doing a nice job coming in here. Life needs to get out of here. Does have the potion of vulnerability on the Dark Ranger. Not sure if he's going to get it off in time. Uh, yeah, there we go. Does get it off. Not enough mana on the panda though in order to get a ultimate off on it this is going to be a terrible fight for life and there is going to be a shocking amount of carnage once this fight is all said and done and tangle should be coming up on this pandarian brewmaster momentarily i'm not sure why it is not um is going to focus down the keeper of the grove and that's going to be good game so despite the fact that we had this massive level advantage or gold advantage from life as you can see, it is not always about uh, gold advantage, and sometimes there's just nothing you can do if you lose the fights. I mean, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this game and go to the scoreboard, but Persuade did a nice job of winning fights even when he was outgolded. Uh, props to him for that. Life played an excellent game as well. If he didn't have the Dark Ranger as his first hero, I think it might have been more interesting. Um, I love the Dark Ranger, I think it's a great hero, however, I do think Demon Hunter obviously is stronger in Mirror. Um, interesting that we got to see a Night Elf game that didn't involve much Chippo, uh, that is the standard routine that you see for most Night Elf players these days, so a little bit refreshing. Uh, looking around on the resources tab here, it does look like uh, 17k more when you add everything up mined by life than Persuade, who had the second most gold. Um, heroes obviously went in favor of Persuade. Units killed went in favor of Persuade as well. So, interesting game overall. Very action-packed. Uh, and it only took 50 minutes to get done. So, uh, obviously if you're watching this, you're on our YouTube channel, but we are youtube.com slash freeforallmasters. Make sure to subscribe to us there. Um, once we get to 100 subscribers, I'll be doing live streams on YouTube where the quality will be great and it'll just be a lot easier for everybody. Um, currently though, I am live streaming at twitch.tv slash freeforallmastersleague. That's twitch.tv slash freeforallmastersleague. Catch all of our live games there as well as live shoutcasts instead of replay ones. Um, I'm often joined by my fellow admin Warpex as well as some other random guests from now and, uh, Excuse me. <coughs>
some other random guests, and then you can catch up with all of the latest news and updates at facebook.com slash freeforallmasters. So once again, that's facebook.com slash freeforallmasters. And as always, join us on freeforallmasters.net to become part of the community. We love having all you guys there, and you guys are what make us do this. So thank you all, have a nice night, and this is Mage, signing out.